doesn't matter where you're starting from. It's a matter of getting the type of deal that's going to suit your personality, your time frames, your knowledge, your etc. And being able and the deal that you the way that you do that deal so that you can make it happen. So don't make an excuse for yourself. You know, if you if you're coming up with an excuse for yourself, you are deluding yourself. You are, you know, you're you're giving yourself a reason not to perform at your maximum capacity. That's what it comes down to. And, you know, why live at a lesser level? You know, when when you can do so much more, you can do so much more for you. Nothing to do with anybody else, it's you. You agree with that? Absolutely. Um, for me, you know, Dimna talks about passing it on. Get yourself into a better, the oxygen mask theory, you know, when the, when the oxygen mask falls from the, from the ceiling, put your own on first and then help everyone else. Um, and I'm here today because of the oxygen mask. I put mine on, thank, thankfully to the education that Dimpton has given me, and I, and I like to come to these events and I like to talk to people at lunchtime. So I've had my lunch, I'm here to talk at all the breaks to you about what it is to be a student and I can, I'll happily answer all the questions that you've got for me. Thank you. So create your own job. This one here again, this, you know, this is a, an excuse that I get where you're starting with nothing. So, you do the deals that you've got to do to make it happen. You know, you do the deals that are no money down deals. You do the deals that, that are going to get you in a position to be able to move forward. This is another one that the student that you help out. Do you want to talk about this one? Yeah, and so um, Faye, Faye of all people should be the one that had all the excuses because she's a mother of four and she was um, not well. So she was at home, she looked after kids and at home and every two or three hours, Faye would actually have to have a sleep. So during boot camps or whatever, you'd see her, you'd go out and she'd be asleep on the lounges out um, during the seminars. And she went off and she concentrated on one area and on a strategy that she learnt uh, with Dimna. And nine months, she looked at the same same deals over and over. 50 feasibility she did with the feasibility program that, that Dimna supplies over and over and over again, and then one popped up where she said, this is going to work, the numbers are going to work on this, and no money, no equity, no availability to do the deal, but found someone on the forum that was willing to do it. Uh, they joined together, went off, and in this deal alone, um, there was a $300,000 profit, uh, so $150,000 each way. The joint venture partner just had to give the money over. Uh, Faye and Andrew looked after the job and split and, and got half that profit. And from that, with the deals they've currently got in place, there's probably, there's over a million dollars, 1.05, so a million and fifty dollars worth of, up uh, $50,000 worth of um, deals in place that their share of the profit is worth. So they're, they're making money for joint venture partners on the other side of equivalent amount. And it's absolutely fantastic to see, to see someone in that position um, and just her whole demeanour has changed. You know, she's really confident and, and she can talk the deal off any like any town planner that could come to her, she can talk backwards now because of all the all the education and work that she's done to get to this point. If I had have known this information, had these contacts uh, years ago when I was investing in other certain strategies and doing certain things, it would have saved literally saved me hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I find that you don't don't just think about you know what you're getting from the real estate knowledge aspect. The, the ancillary elements of what you're getting uh, are equally as important, if not more important.